Welcome back to another Toy Discoveries video. I hope you're all good and ready to learn and have fun. Today I have this awesome wooden puzzle and it has different means of transportation. So let's get started. Our first piece of the puzzle is this one over here. This is an airplane. And here's a real picture of an airplane, so you can take a look at it. Airplanes look like this, and they are a means of transportation in the sky. Here's a video of an airplane taking off the ground and going into the sky. The people who fly airplanes are called pilots. Here's a picture of two pilots in the cockpit of the airplane, which is kind of like the driver's seat of the airplane, where they have all the controls and everything they need in order to fly a plane. We're going to set this one over here and move on to our second piece. Our second piece is this one over here. It's called a spacecraft. Here's a photo of a spacecraft. A spacecraft is a vehicle that travels from our planet Earth, where we live, to outer space. The people who travel in the spacecraft are called astronauts. Here's a picture of an astronaut in outer space on the moon. Astronauts travel to outer space in this spacecraft to learn about different things happening outside our planet. They study the moon and the stars and different things that are happening around the planet Earth. Our third piece of the puzzle is this one over here. Our third piece is a little bit different because there are many things we don't know about nature and our planet Earth and one of those things are UFOs. This over here. This is called a UFO. This is a picture of what people think a UFO looks like. UFO means unidentified flying object and we'll place it over here. Our fourth piece on our puzzle board is this over here. This is a helicopter. A helicopter looks like this. This is a real picture of a helicopter. It travels in the sky like an airplane, but instead of having wings, it has a rotor. This over here is called a rotor. A rotor is several small blades that spin together really fast so the helicopter can stay in the sky. Here's a video of a helicopter so you can take a look at it and look at its rotor to see how fast it spins. We'll place our fourth piece over here and move on. I think all of you kids know what this vehicle is. This is a car. A car is a vehicle that travels on land. Unlike the first four vehicles we saw here, unlike the airplane, the spacecraft, the UFO and the helicopter who are all means of transportation in the sky, a car travels on land on the roads. Here's a couple of photos of cars to look at in an awesome video. A car has four wheels and it is powered by a small engine in the front usually or the back of the car. We'll place our fifth piece here and move on to the next one. Our next piece is this one over here. You might have seen these on the street 
Or you might even have one. It's called a bicycle. This is what a bicycle looks like. And here's pictures of a few bicycles and a video to look at. A bicycle is a vehicle that has two wheels held in this frame, one, two, and this is the frame of the bicycle in blue. Unlike a car, the bicycle has no engine. So in order to move while on a bicycle, you hold the handlebars and move your feet on the pedals to push yourself forward, like in the video. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want. So we'll place our piece over here and move on to this larger vehicle. This vehicle is called a bus. A bus is usually large, like these photos that you see now, and they are used to transport passengers, or in other words, people, by road on a fixed route and schedule. It has lots of seats, like you see here in the photo, and it has two side doors, so lots of people can go out at the same time when they're at their stop. A bus has a large engine as well, and that's how it gets power to move. Here we have another piece of our puzzle, and this is a train, or part of a train. This is the front part of a train, and a train is a large vehicle that is powered by a big engine. It has multiple wagons connected to it, or is one long piece. A train travels on a connected line called a railroad. They are used to travel long distances and transport people or different kinds of goods. Our last two pieces of our puzzle are means of transportation in the water. This here is what a ship looks like. So here's a few pictures to look at. A ship that I will show you now in these pictures is a large boat, a vehicle that floats on water transporting goods like food or different kinds of stuff and people. So we'll place this over here and move on to our last vehicle, which is this one over here. And what, what is cool about it is unlike the boat that floats on the water, a submarine like this one over here can go underwater. A submarine, as you see here in the picture, a large boat that can go underwater for long periods of a time. Militaries and scientists use submarines to go deep into the ocean to patrol or study life underneath the waters. Isn't that cool? It has this propeller to give power to the submarine to move underwater. So we'll put this over here and now we have completed our puzzle. I hope you all enjoyed learning about these different means of transportation and if you did, feel free to subscribe to Toy Discoveries for more fun educational videos like this one. Until the next time, kids. Bye.